the first step in learning hot cross buns is to internalize it, to get it in our minds. With hot cross buns, we sing it. It's just the absolute best way to internalize the notes of a piece, especially a piece like this. And Hot Cross Buns is a song. It's a folk song. Now, it's a wonderful folk song. Hot Cross Buns. Hot Cross Buns. One a penny, two a penny. Hot Cross Buns. Hot cross buns, hot cross buns, one a penny, two a penny, hot cross buns. Hi, I'm Clay with the Cello Dot Online, and this is lesson one or step one in the series of videos for learning hot cross buns. Uh, be sure and check out the rest of them, and also check out the other videos that I have here in the pre-twinkle series, uh, you know, pieces, tunes that uh, cellists learn before we get to the, the first book in Suzuki Book One, which is Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. So the first step in learning hot cross buns, which is the same first step for any piece of music, it doesn't matter if it's hot cross buns or the Dvorak Cello Concerto, the first step is to internalize it, to get it in our minds, get it in us, so we're so very familiar with it, get it in our ear, and of course, with hot cross buns, we sing it. It's just the absolute best way to internalize the notes of a piece, especially a piece like this. And hot cross buns is a song. It's a folk song. Now, it's a wonderful folk song. And we also use hot cross buns because we're going to use it later to actually learn some more advanced stuff when we get to the end of book one. And you can even use it in thumb position, which we do do. I even do that here on the channel in some of the thumb position videos talking about, you know, when you're first learning, starting thumb position because it's it's internalized, it's in you, we've learned it here, and so that you can hear when you're playing in tune when you're playing all sorts of things on the cello, okay? And don't forget to stick around to the end of the video. I have some extra resources that will help you with learning and singing this. Uh, so the first place we sing this here is or the first place we, we learn it is going to be on the D string. And so we want to sing it there, starting here on the F sharp or our, our third finger, all right? And I will sing along with you. So to start, let's learn the words, right? Here we go. Hot cross buns. Hot cross buns. One a penny, two a penny. Hot cross buns. And remember, you can repeat the video, scroll it back as many times as you need to. Let's do it one more time. Hot cross buns. Hot cross cross buns. One a penny, two a penny, hot cross buns. Good. Now for the notes that we're going to sing. I'm going to start here on the D string with F sharp, where our third finger is. Okay. I'm going to sing along with you here. That pitch in your head, so important. Ready? Hot cross buns, hot cross buns. One a penny, two a penny, hot cross buns. One more time. Make sure we have the right note. I just want to make sure we're starting on the right note. Ready? Hot cross buns, hot cross buns. One a penny, two a penny, hot cross buns. Now, if you're having trouble singing along here, I'm going to play it up. This might be your range, this F sharp down to D. So let's play it here one time. I'll play it again and try to sing along. Good. I'll attempt to sing along with you because I know it's, it's always helpful uh, when matching pitch to actually hear another voice singing here. All right. Now, this is pretty pretty high for me, so uh, here we go. But it will help. It's all about just getting the notes, right? It's pretty high. Here we go. Hot cross buns. Hot cross buns. One a penny, 
to a penny hot cross buns. I stayed on pitch. <laughs> I'll sing it with you again. Ready? Hot, hot, hot cross buns, hot cross buns, on a penny to a penny hot cross buns. All right. <laughs> All right. Now, I mentioned some extra resources for you, and I'm going to talk about those here in a second. But don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment uh, down below. Uh, if you're having trouble singing along, if you're having trouble matching pitch, let me know that so I can try to help. And the other piece of advice I would give you about internalizing this is go and listen to other versions. This is a very famous song. It's a wonderful, wonderful folk song. So go. It might be in a different key, but that's okay. All right, you're just trying to internalize it, get it in you so you know what it sounds like. Yes, you need to sing this version the most, uh, but go and sing lots of other versions as well. Okay, now the resource I have for you, the practice timers, as I will have for all of the lessons here in these series. These practice timers are a little bit different in that I am actually going to sing along with you in them. Usually, there's no playing or talking during the practice timers, but this one's a little different since the goal is simply to internalize it, to learn the notes. I am going to sing along, play along, so that you have that pitch there, that reference to match. The practice timer is there to guide you on your practice, to ask you leading questions, to keep you focused, and also so you can, to help you block time. It's really, really valuable. If you've never practiced with a timer, I have a video on this channel all about practicing with timers, okay? And if you specifically want to know what a practice timer is on this channel, you can watch this video right here. If you've already seen that or you just want to jump right in, you can see any of the videos here on the screen. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next one.